Not all circuit breakers are the same. Select the one with the correct response time for your application. My name is Matt Hemphill. I'm the product marketing manager for our search protection and circuit breaker products at Phoenix Contact. Early on in my career, I was on a project where they used trip curb B circuit breakers on all the AC drives. And when they power up, they trip each time. Why? Yeah, that's because when you power those up, they have a large inrush current. And what's happening is a B trip curve is sensitive to those inrush currents and it will actually trip. So you would have been better off actually selecting a D trip curve. Which is what I did later on. I'm like, well, everything should be a trip curve D. Well, then you run the risk of it doesn't trip quickly enough and then your equipment is damaged or worse, you could have a safety issue like a fire. So how do I go about selecting one? Well, the first thing that you want to do is you want to understand the total current draw of your circuit. Okay, so you have to look at the name plates of all your loads and total those up. So let's say those total 10 amps. Okay. What you'd want to do then is select a circuit breaker that has a nominal rating of more than 125% of that value. Okay, so roughly, let's say 13 amps is probably gonna be appropriate for that load okay. or for that circuit. And then you want to make sure you understand what types of loads you're protecting. If you have loads that have a high inrush, like a motor, you're typically gonna to wanna to pick a D trip curve, okay? Because it won't trip during the inrush event. If you have sensitive loads, you wanna select a B trip curve. That's going to trip a lot quicker. Uh, okay. to protect those sensitive loads. The most common trip curve though is going to be your C trip curve and that's used for most loads. What's a trip curve on a household circuit breaker? Typically those are C type trip curves. What happened to A? <laughs> I don't know, that's a good question. That clears up a lot of confusion I had about circuit breakers. Is there anything else we should know? Yeah, the, a, a big topic that comes up a lot is the difference between a 49 circuit breaker and a UL 1077 supplementary protector. And click here to follow us over there.